Hello everyone. After my disaster with the digital multimeter, I decided just to set all that aside and get working on the Mercury 9 itself. The command center is going to have to sit. I had hoped to get all these windows done tonight on the command center. Just impossible. It's already past th 3 o'clock in the morning and I should have been in bed an hour ago. I just lost so much time trying to get the digital multimeter working and getting figured and figuring out what's positive and what's negative on that power supply that I'm trying to salvage the evening by working on this first off if you remember I cut out all these little circles with the um, hole punch thingy they're right here Oop, zooming right past them but you can see them there they're all right here okay turns out they're way too thick I use 0.4 styrene I got out a sheet of point two and punched up some new ones. You can see it on the end right there. They are more in line with what's on the model. And I got out some Tamiya cement. Remember, if you're doing a Pegasus model, they use ABS plastic. So you can't just use something like Tenax or this Ambroid Pro Weld. It won't glue it. You, they, they recommend Tamiya Extra Thin, but I find that the regular Tamiya cement, the stuff, holds better. And that's what I glued these circles on with. I glued one on right there, because that's there was a circle right there, and it was almost exactly the same size as my hole punch. Okay. So there's one glued on right there. And yeah, you can see all the silver paint's removed. I removed all that silver paint. I glued on two to the top here and two at the top there and I'm just checking symmetry right now and it looks like I got them pretty well aligned. Now the ones that were in the kit were rounded over more like this detail up here is and this detail here. So tomorrow I'm going to take some sandpaper and just sand them down a little bit smoother around the edges so that they blend in a little bit better. What I'm working on now is finishing assembly of this model. Okay? I'm going to do that, then I'm going to go to bed. There isn't that many parts left to put on her. There's about 10 parts left, maybe 12. I'm going to go ahead and do that tonight so that she's done. And. Oh, I just realized there's something I have to do before I finish assembling her. Well, I can finish assembling the lower stage. I have to do some more work on the upper stage before I can glue it on there. I don't want to try to do that work with the two parts glued together. So I might not be done with this tonight like I'd hoped. Anyhow, I'll give it an attempt once I get all the parts glued on the lower stage and we'll see. Clear domes don't go on until I'm done painting the model. Okay? That's just not going to happen. I'll end up taping over the tops of these uh, engines so the paint doesn't get in there while I'm painting. And again, I've already stripped all the silver paint off as well as I'm going to. And I don't think what remains is going to affect the paint job too much. Could. Look, I'm seeing some scratches in places. So I get some sandpaper after it tomorrow and just clean it up the rest of the way. But anyhow, I'm going to quit rambling. We're going to get building. I should have this part built within 20 minutes. I'll come back and show that to you when it's done. That I may or may not be done working with tonight. But there's only going to be like three or four parts left to put on to that. So it won't really matter. It'll take me like five minutes once I'm done with that. So I'll be back to report when I'm done. Oh, wow. I have made one heck of a mistake on this thing. This is the engine pod. The directions say put it on before you put these fins on. And I didn't even think about it. I just put these fins on because I knew I needed to get these fins on to get the wiring done. And... It will not fit. I mean, it really, really, truly will not fit. I can try squeezing her. I'm going to have to do something to get it to fit in there. Because it's just not doing it. I can't take these fins off. The mounting tabs and the bolts for mounting these fins on here are so massive and extensive that there just is absolutely no way of removing these fins. I used this stuff. Oh. Not good. Not good not having a lid on. I use this stuff to glue it on with and 
This is the strongest plastic glue I have, to be honest with everybody. I think it holds the best. The um, Ambroid Pro Weld holds very well too, but I still think that to me a regular cement holds better. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Squeezing this or something to get it in there. I'll be back once I get it done. I don't know how in the world I did that. Just wasn't paying attention. I, get, I thought it would just slide on there, but no. If you look, these fins taper down to match the contour of this thing. There are, if there were only two of them on there, I could get it in. But with three, near impossible. Let me see what I can do. This might make or break the whole thing. Happiness, happiness. I got it on there. You can see it's on there. This is what I did. Okay. This bottom circle here has three alignment pins on it, so it goes on the proper way. All right. Two of them are very near one of these fins. I don't know which one it is because, well, the part's on there right now, and I can't tell. Okay. One of the alignment pins lined up perfectly with one of these fins. So that gave me a guide, and I got out Mr. Razor Saw. And I cut that, I split that pin in half and cut it all the way up to the top of the part. So I just made a cut along there. That allowed me to bend the part in and slip it in. And if you look, you can see where the plastic got stressed real bad. I really stressed the plastic bad. I'm going to have to do some checking on it and see what I actually did to the plastic to get it in there. And I got one or two little minor seams to take care of on that part because I didn't do a good job, but it's in there. That's the important part. That part's in there. Happiness. I don't have to throw this against the wall in anger or get a firecracker or a sledgehammer or the neighbor's dog to play fetch with it. Put it under a car tire. Whatever. Okay? So, I got her together. I'm happy. I'm going to finish putting the engine bells on there. Only concern I have is once these engine bells are on there, she can't sit on the... Yeah. These engine bells are what she's going to be sitting on. No. Engine bells will be off the ground just a teeny bit. Because I haven't built the stand for it yet. The stand requires some photo etch. I wanted to do that tonight too, but thank you Mr. Crappy craptastic digital multimeter I don't get to I'm not bitter no not at all I just spent money to buy a new one got on amazon.com and I got a new one coming I need it too badly but anyhow I'm gonna get back to this I'll be back if I come across any more problems but for those of you that want to build one of these in the future that part goes on before these parts follow the directions you can't do it the other way I did, but if you make that mistake, it's in my video, but I don't advise it. All right, back in a bit. You're looking at the completed first stage of the Mercury 9. The second stage is not completed yet, so I still have one lone LED poking out the top. I have four pieces left to put together, five pieces left to put together, and this is done. And I just have to work on the command center. Once the command center is done, I start mounting things to the base that's when things start going fast and becoming fun. Not that this isn't fun, but that's when I can really get at it. So let me talk about a few things real quick. First off, that cone that I was all panicked about, I realized while I was gluing some of this together that there was no way around that cone. I had to put it in in the step I did or I would not have been able to solder all these lights in here. Okay. The wires are going here, you'll see why in a little bit, why I did that, okay? So I had to save that comb for last. Here's the happy thought. I was worried about the seams around that comb. Well, guess what? You can't see those seams, no matter what you do. Let's get some better lighting here. You can't see those seams, because this part right here covers them completely. So no worry about the seams at all. Okay, it's just all gone. All right, second, there's the business end. Now, one thing I considered 
was putting orange LEDs in here. Then I realized, well, I'm going to fix this thing to the mount. Once she's fixed to the mount, you know, here, let's put the camera down a little bit. Turn it a little bit. Once it's fixed to the mount, you wouldn't really tell those, those LEDs are lit anyhow. You know, it wouldn't make sense because we're going to have people loading the ship and all sorts of other stuff going on. So I didn't see the point in putting the mount, the LEDs in the engine because this thing's getting prepared to launch. It's not launching. So the business end got no LEDs. I'm not going to worry about detailing that any because no one's going to see it. She's going to be glued down like this. You're not going to be able to look at any of the detail under there. And these engine shrouds really hide that detail well anyhow. You'd have to pick the model up and look at the underside to see that detail. Okay, so I'm not worried about any of that. So, first stage is complete. All I have to do is mask these parts off right here. And that's ready for paint. So, at least I accomplished that tonight. I'm going to check the time. Oh yeah, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I should have been in bed two and a half hours ago, maybe three hours ago. So there's no more work getting done on this tonight, no matter what I want to do. Okay, I have some masking to do with this. I have to glue that LED into this. This part disappears. If it's down in here, you won't see it. It glues on the bottom of this, which is a shame because it's a nice part. And then it fits down in there for a snug fit. And then there's three fins that glue. You can see the joints. It's going to sit like that on there. Okay. You can see where the fins go. And I have to get this orientated the way I want. Because I already know that this is going to be the orientation of the rocket to the front of the stand. Because these wires have to go back to the back. So I want to get this orientated on there the way I want it. And I think that is precisely the way I want it right there so I'll have to keep that in mind while I'm doing it that I want the command windows even with this so I don't have too much more to do in the main rocket ships done and I can really start concentrating on the command bunker once the command bunker is done things are just gonna fly I get to start playing with the photo etch real heavily scratch build a couple of buildings I said I was going to duplicate this building two or three times I changed my mind I'm only going to use this building once, and I've got some extra doors, so I'm going to put some doors on this to make it, you know, proper size and scale. But I'm going to scratch build a couple of warehouses in place of doing that a couple of times. So, time to get to bed. Just happy the first stage is done, and I can start working on the second stage tomorrow. Get it complete and start getting on that command center. I, by Saturday, today is Wednesday evening, so I still have Thursday and Friday. Um, by Saturday evening, I need to have Mercury 9 done. I want the pr first coat of paint on it. I need to have the command center done. I need to have the base done and ready for me to mount things on it. If I can get that done, then I have a chance of finishing this before the end of the contest. I don't think it's a big order, except for I gotta do some scratch building on this thing. And I gotta get these windows straightened out. These windows are nowhere near where I like them. These windows, I got the solution and it's in the works. And I already showed you guys that. So I'll be back to, on that, finishing that up pretty soon. That's where I stand on this. Not too far from being done with it. Happy thoughts. Well, that thing getting the paint, anyhow. That's a happy thought, because I'm going to do kind of a crazy paint job on it. I already decided that. Yeah. Crazy, crazy paint job on it. Anyhow, let me quit rambling and let me get going on other things. Like sleep. Something I really, really need after the night I've had. I'll be back later.
56 degrees out yeah. in June. Not June, May. Very close to June. Lots of really pretty views out here. In there? Mm -hmm. What's down there? What's down there? Mm -hmm. uh, far enough, it's the city of Morrison. If we go even further, we'll make it to Colorado Springs. If we go that way. <laughs>